Welcome back to Afternoon Express. We're back in the kitchen to make our last dish for the for the afternoon, it right? Is. And it's fish. It is. We've got so much food today. Yeah, we've got a lot of food. And you really outdid yourself with that chicken rice. <laughs> I tasted that chicken. I actually even had to reapply my lipstick because I chewed my lipstick off That's as when well. you know it's good. That chicken is insane. And the, and the fish is going to be just as good and even easier to make. I believe you. You don't have okay, to cool. convince me. So I'm using sea harvest egg fillers today. And mm -hmm. what I love about it is the fish is Fresh. As soon as it's caught, it gets processed right there on the ship. It gets frozen immediately, so all that goodness Good. gets locked in. Good. And also, big thing, massive thing, it's sustainably caught, which Absolutely. is everything. We should not be That's eating anything that yeah. is not. Yeah. So, Hague's got quite a neutral flavor when it comes to fish. It's like people sometimes don't like the strong fishiness of certain, certain types of fish. Hague's a good one to start with. It's amazing. It's got beautiful texture I love as well. Hague as well. The inspiration for this dish is all about layering everything into one dish okay. and no dishes, okay? It's okay, not. No it's almost dishes. a weekend. We're not no going to be... No dishes. So, first things first, in a one dish, what you're going to do is just layer in some hake fillets. And what I love about it, you can do it from frozen, which is great, because if you're coming home and you forgot to take the fish out the freezer, it yeah, doesn't like matter. I always do. And it's, it's totally fine. It's actually just grab it all just like this, get them in there. So okay. the first layer is going to be all that beautiful hake flavor. Okay. down, and then we're going to start building on everything else. Mm -hmm. I've roasted a few red peppers. I just want to chop it up lightly. And this roasted is, them. And we, we're talking about Provencal. Why roasting? Just, uh, just for the flavor? And it brings out so much more pep, like of the pepper flavor in there. Okay. It's a lot of sweetness, like little citrus notes. Everything that you actually get from pepper comes out a lot more when you actually roast them. Oh, you can buy them roasted, that. but I mean, it's so easy just to do it in the oven. To do it yourself. As yes. is, pop it in the oven at 200 degrees for about 10 minutes, mm -hmm. and then that's all you need. Alrighty. So we're talking about Provencal style vegetables, and these are really great because it's an easy way to add a lot of flavor to a dish. So I'm gonna use, we're using peppers, tomatoes, olives, and capers. capers. And it's a nice balance of flavors. Sapers, Ooh, capers, capers are feisty little things. They are. They are. They're tiny, <laughs> but you know that they're in they there. They pack a punch, huh? They do. Okay. So all you want to do is just give them a little bit of a chop. It adds a nice salty, briny flavor to the dish, which is mm -hmm. great because when you're working with seafood, you kind of want to complement it with, like, essence of the sea, if you know what I mean. Yeah, I hear you. Yeah. So that goes in there. Okay. They're so delicious. I love them. And then some olives go some in. Olives. And I like keeping them very chunky. I don't like olives being too small in a dish. What did like you this. do to these olives? You well, just took out the pips. I, I, I put them, and my way of putting them is literally putting an olive down <laughs> on a on a board and, and then, then you just smash it. Mm -hmm. And then just take the pip out. You love to smash a vegetable. I love smashing everything mm -hmm. all the time. So there we go. That goes in there. What do and you so we got so we got the fish, and we've kind of seasoned the fish with the capers and the olives. No salt needed. Yes, because, There's enough yeah, saltiness that's a lot right of salt there. there. Then some tomatoes. Okay. And that's going to add a little bit of sweetness, and as they cook, they're going to intensify in sweetness. And I love marrows. Marrows. Because it's also another neutral flavor that, that lends itself to it, and the dishes, the other flavors around it. Yes. So it's going to suck up that saltiness and the brininess, and it also cooks down slightly, so don't be shy to add quite a bit of it in there. Yeah, it shrinks quite a lot. Now, uses basil. A lot of water. The problem with basil is people into, like they chop it up too much and it disappears completely. And it goes quite black in the dish, which is fine. Mm -hmm. When it's a nice leaf, it's a lot better. It transfers the flavors through okay. so well. So all I literally do is just tear it. Do you need come. more? Yeah, I love basil. It's so good. Okay. Just I like also that. love basil. It's great. And it this grows like You should be growing it at home. Yeah, we all should. Even if we you do a little pot plant, but that's I all you But I kill plants, man. I'll even kill a basil plant. And, and, and basil's a hardy little herb. It is. But I'll kill it. Not intentionally. <laughs> so a little bit of garlic goes on. Just kind of like work that in between all the other ingredients. Okay. And that's good. So what you're doing, and what's also great is, this is like minimal effort. There's not a lot of prep that went into it. Everything just gets laid into a dish, and you're gonna, we're gonna add the next part of the dish. So what I do is I take some mozzarella, and I top it. That looked like, like that. butter for a second. I was like, so did you? much butter. That's so much butter going in butter. there. So that's <laughs> what you do. So what you can do is at this stage, as a real simple bake, you can pop it into the oven immediately, and it literally just takes about 20 minutes for the fish to cook and all the vegetables to cook down, and that cheese to go bubbly, ooey, and gooey. What I Bobby, did was, and gooey. That's, that's exactly what you're looking for with mm -hmm. this dish. Mm -hmm. So what we did is we popped this one in, and just to add a little bit of like, 
a little bit of a crunch. Popped it in and look what happened. Yeah, I added a little bit of breadcrumbs to the top as well. Oh, so, okay. But that, that's completely optional. And it goes super crispy on the top. And you got all the soft, beautiful vegetables that are super fragrant. At the bottom, you got that amazing hick. Mm. And the best part is all the beautiful layers in there. Is all it quite gonna... moist inside? It is, it is. It. But you got a lot of texture in there. So all you're going to do is just serve it like that as a little one-pot dish. Just one dish. I love dishes that you can serve as just one dish in a bowl. In a bowl. Just dig in with the spoon. <laughs> <laughs> the keyword for this recipe is fish. SMSs are charged at 1 Rand 50. No free SMSs apply. And if you missed any of this wonderful stuff happening in the kitchen, here's a quick recap. Well, hope you know just how to make this dish now. Thank you so much for everything, Clem. And thank you to all our guests who joined us today. Happy birthday again to Seven Delan. Now, I'm so clever. I sent everybody home because I knew there was so much amazing food to be had. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a perfect, just, just about enough for the two of us. But for real, everybody rushed home to go and watch Seven Delan while we take I'm care of the exactly dishes. Same. We're going to do the dishes. Uh, That's what we say. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Tomorrow on the show, we're delving into the world of extreme sports. We're joined by Sean Thompson, who is wildly considered as one of the top 10 surfers who ever lived. How amazing is that? He's currently in South Africa promoting his new motivational book, Aimed at Teens. Thank you so much to you at home for joining us today. And uh, happy weekend. <laughs> is it a weekend? <laughs>